Welcome to US Stocks Day Trading, the best eight wave analysis, episode number two. So today I'm going to talk about stocks, about the S&P, Amazon, Apple, and Tesla to give you an update um, about uh, uh, West stocks. And to discuss a position that I have on Amazon. So uh, one of my uh, I entered one of one, uh, one position on Amazon, and I want to discuss the entry and my after thoughts after uh, after entering the position if I'm happy with it or not and why. So that will be the subject of today's intervention. I also want to inform you that I did have two trades, one on near and one on Bitcoin. I made uh, money on both of them. I made 7.5% um, on Bitcoin. And around, and if, and if I rem remember correctly, 4% on NIA. That with all charges being paid, all fees being paid, broker fees and the rest. Uh, my net profit was 7.5 on Bitcoin and 4% on NIA. So I'm happy with that result because it was a trade that only lasted two days and it went according to plan. And more important for me than making money is that I executed it correctly, that I followed my system. So I'm, I'm satisfied with my work and I'll keep on doing that. And now I'm talking, I will talk about US stocks because one of my positions did get opened. But that I mean, I gave an stop market enter, uh, entry price for Amazon and uh, that price did get reached. So my position was opened. Now I have to manage the position until I get uh, stopped out or until I want to exit the position. So uh, we're going to talk about that uh, as soon as I show you the charts. First, I have to show you as always my disclaimer. So let me just get it on screen. Okay, the web page is loading and I'm sharing. So now you sit, see it. My disclaimer is not there for now because it hasn't loaded it, but it should load it right now. There we go. Now you can see my disclaimer. So here's my disclaimer. The link is in the description and below it, my risk warning uh, so that you are aware that there are risk involved in trading. The link is in the description. And briefly, I'm going to talk about my services so that you know um, the great service you can get by becoming a client, uh, a private client of mine which is highly recommended if uh, the markets, the crypto market, stocks or, or gold is important to you, then it's highly recommended to become a member of my private Telegram channel. I think it's one of the best services you can get on the internet. I know nothing that comes close to it and um, certainly nothing uh, at that price, but, uh, but it will be very hard for you to get that kind of analysis anywhere else. And if you do, um, I can guarantee you that you pay um, between 200 USD to 2000 USD for, uh, for the service that we write to, to you. And it might be very short, like a weekend uh, webinar or whatever. So I can guarantee you that uh, 20 uh, USD a month for that great service is, is an offer you should not miss. So now uh, let me talk about that offer. So it, I'm offering live edit wave updates on uh, BTC, on US stocks and gold. You get one to three updates on BTC. Most is, uh, uh, mostly it's more than that. Live updates it means uh, my latest labeling on the charts and a uh, description, extremely precise uh, description of what is happening. And you get one to three, mostly it's more, uh, it's more around five, maybe sometimes eight 
but at least one to three you get. You get the most updates you get on BTC because BTC is the most demanding market. It is 24 hours uh, a day and a lot and a lot of things are happening very fast. So you get a lot of updates on BTC. And then you get next to it updates on stocks and gold. So I have three private channels. And the updates on stocks are once a day and the update on gold is also once a day. But once a day is enough for you to follow the market closely. Because on US stocks and gold, things happen slow, uh, take more time to happen. So once a day is enough for stock and gold. To become a member, you have to join my free Telegram group and let me know that you're interested in my service. Then I will provide you the instruction on how to become a member. Uh, the, and the means of payments are either cryptos, and that's a direct payment to my crypto address. Then it's 20 USD a month or PayPal if you don't want to use uh, cryptos and don't want to learn how to use cryptos. Uh, then in that case, you will uh, send the money to a third party who will inform me that you did send the money. And once that is done, I add you to a member. The third party will then uh, process cryptos with the money you sent him and send me the cryptos. That's why it's more expensive because it's not just my fee, but it's my fee, and on top of that, you have to pay the fees of the third party. That's why it's a little more expensive. But even three, uh, 30, uh, 30 with the uh, a month is, is an unbelievable deal. You will find nothing in, uh, anywhere that comes close to that at that price. And I mean, even if you pay 300 USD a month for that service, you will find, uh, I don't think you can find anything that comes close to it. It's a great service. Not just do you get Elliott Wave, but you also get Ichimoku. And there I use the uh, Kumo Break strategy and I give you entry points, exit points, trading stop, loss points. So that's great if you're a trader, then that's useful information. I only talk about Ichimoku when those entry points, exit points and trading stop uh, get triggered. So uh, that's on top of it. So you get uh, two of the best indicators that there are out there. If I use only um, for trading, if I use Elite Wave and Ichimoku, it's because those are the best indicators you can get. So that being said, now let's take a look at the SMP. And let me remind you, uh, to like and comment for the free work that I provide to you on, on um, YouTube. And now I'm switching to the SMP. I firstly want to show you my uh, the Ichimoku cloud on the SMP. And Let me see if it's the SMP. Now I'm confused. Yes, it's the SMP. And now, not just it's the SMP, but uh, the Chiku is at the right place. I had problems uh, last time with the SMP and and its Chiku, but now uh, it seems to work fine. So I don't know what's happening. Anyways, um, let's talk about Ichimoku. And if you will get an entry point on the SMP. So several conditions have to be fulfilled. The first condition is that you need um, Kumo break out. And that's when you are above the cloud. So now we are above the cloud, so you had your Kumo break out. The second condition is that the future Kumo needs to be green. And as you can see, I'll underline it. It says green Kumo cloud ahead. So your second condition is fulfilled too. The third condition is the uh, Shiku and your Chiko must be clear of price. As you can see, your Chiko is clear of price and above price. That's what you need for a long position. So that's also a check. Then the third condition is that the Tenken and Kichuin 
My price needs to be above the tenken and the kichuin. Here is the tenken, and here is the kichuin. And the tenken needs to be bigger than the kichuin. That's also the, uh, the case. So that fourth condition is fulfilled. And the final condition is for me, because it's not just a Kumo break strategy, but it must be confirmed with elite waves. So the final condition is that we have to take a look at, it, at its elite wave count and see if uh, that gives you also the green light. But regarding Ichimoku, all the conditions are fulfilled to go long. So now is the question, when do you enter once your conditions are fulfilled? And the answer is, uh, you count back nine candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the ninth, ninth candle. Let me draw that correctly. This is the ninth candle. And you in doing the past line, nine candle, you choose the one that is the highest. And that's this candle. That's why I've put a line on top of that candle and it gives you 4,539.66. So once price exceeds that amount, so when you get a 4,540, you enter your long position. And then you put your stop loss below, a little below the Kijuin, so at that level, you put your stop loss. That's how you enter. And that's why I did show you that position. And that's exactly what happened to me uh, on Amazon. But uh, let's first, uh, do we talk about Amazon? Yeah, let's go to Amazon and, and lastly talk about the elite wave count on the S&P. Now let's look at Amazon. So here we have Apple. And here we have Amazon. So I did get an entry on Amazon here because I thought that all the conditions were fulfilled to go long. That's what I thought on Amazon. And that's why I right now I have an entry because I thought that all the conditions to go long were fulfilled. So now we can check again uh, uh, quickly. We check first, we have a breakout of the Kumo. That's correct. The future um, Kumo is green. Here it says green for, um, Kumo cloud ahead. So that's correct. And here you can see that it's green. Um, the Chiku is clear of price, as you can see. Chiku is clear of price. The Tenken and the Kichuin are in the right order. Here you have the Tenken, which is bigger than the Kichuin. And price is above them. So this is also fulfilled. And lastly, you have to see the elite wave count. So I'm not look, uh, going to look at the elite wave count on Amazon, on Apple, or on Tesla, because it's a lot of work and I don't need to do that. It suffices that the S&P is bullish or bearish. If the S&P is bullish, it will pull the big stocks up. And if it's bearish, uh, they will go down. It's the same as with cryptos. I don't have to look at every count of every crypto. I, it suffices to know if Bitcoin goes up, then other cryptos will follow the, uh, its, its bullishness. And if um, Bitcoin goes down, other kill, uh, um, cryptos will follow its bearishness. And it's the same with the S&P. When the S&P goes up, uh, other stocks will follow its bullishness. And when the S&P goes down, other stocks will follow its bearishness. Uh, it's the same thing. Same thing, so it, it makes my life more easy. I don't have to label 200 um, stocks uh, uh, in their account. Sometimes I can take a look, but I don't have to do it on a regular basis. It suffices to me to look at the big indexes like the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, the S&P. That's enough information for me to know if I have to go long or short on, any, on the big stocks. Like Tesla, Apple, um, Amazon, Facebook, it suffices for me to know what the S&P is doing. So uh, my entry point, and then since every condition is fulfilled, my entry point, I, again, I, I count back nine, day, uh, now nine candles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
ninth. So here my entry would be over that. But at the time I gave the order, the ninth candle and the highest candle was this one. So I gave an order to go long once 3224.37 was exceeded. I think I put my, my order at 3225. That was my market uh, stop market order. And at that level, I entered. As you can see, the not the next candle, but the, the candle following that one, this one, exceeded the level. And uh, that's when I did go in. On the day it exceeded the level, I then checked if all the conditions were fulfilled because I thought they, they would be fulfilled. But I realized that there was not at that time a green Kumo cloud ahead. It was still bearish. So, so actually I did um, a little mistake. I entered the position with one of my conditions not being fulfilled and that's a mistake. You should not do it. Um, but it does not really matter because here on that candle, you you would have um, well, well well it does not matter I won't exit the position I have my stop loss be below the kitchen and I will live with it, with it especially because I know that I, but because I know that now all the conditions are fulfilled but I did a little mistake and uh, why did I do the mistake the thing is I went to bed and I would not be awake and could not look at the chart uh, while it was developing because I went to bed. Um, and, and so I gave the order to, to end at that level because I thought that once this level was reached, the 32, uh, no, the 3224, 37, once that was reached, I thought that, they, that the Kumo would have turned green, but it was not the case. It's a little mistake, but for me, it's fine. I can live with it especially because my risk is managed. And even if a uh, price heads straight down and my stop loss get hit, that's fine. That's, uh, uh, I, I mean, I've planned for it. I, I know that it happens from time to time and it's fine. But normally you should wait for all the conditions to be fulfilled before entering a long position. So I did make a small mistake. That's not perfect, but sometimes you, you won't get punished for it. Now um, let's take a look at Apple, because I think that uh, on the next dating, the, uh, trading day, which will be Wednesday, I think that I will get an entry on Apple. So here the same thing is as on the S&P, and we just talked about with, with um, uh, Amazon, the same thing uh, happens. You go through the same steps with, with Apple again. So that's the Apple chart. And here again, you ask yourself if all the conditions are fulfilled. So you need a, a Kumo and break out. Uh, so you, were, you did break out of the Kumo on that candle. But at that time, there were, uh, your, all your conditions condition were not fulfilled, so I could not enter a long position. So you wait. You patiently wait until all the conditions are fulfilled. The next condition is that the future Kumo needs to be green. And right now you have a green uh, Kumo cloud ahead. So that's correct. And the next one is that the Chico needs to be clear of price. Right now the Chico is clear of price. So that condition is checked too. You need the Tenken and the Kichirin to be in the right order. Here you have your Tenken and here you have the Kichirin. You need price to be above them. And the right order for a long position is the Tenken, the Tenken, uh, the Denken Sen, uh, bigger than the Kichu, uh, Kichun Sen. And that's also the case right now. So you can check that. And the final thing is Elliott Wave. We look at the S&P uh, straight when I'm done with, uh, with Ichimoku, we'll look at the S&P to see if that gives you the green light too. But that's the last condition. But on, uh, um, so once that is done, you count back again, nine candle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine candle. If you count like this, if you count the, the current candle, I don't know how you have to do it. I think you, you can do both. If you count the current candle, uh, your nine candle would be this one. But so you take the highest candle of the nine last candles. So the highest candle is this one, the current candle. And 
you take an entry point since all your conditions are fulfilled above uh, that candle's high because you want to buy on strength. If there's no strength in the market, you will pass, you, you won't enter. So here it is 175.35. So once the market exceeds 175.35, you enter the position. So I think I gave an entry probably for 176, probably. Or no, I think I went even closer. To remember correctly, I went to with 175.50. So I went a bit a little above, not one dollar above, but uh, a couple of cents above. And uh, tomorrow on Wednesday, when the SP will exceed that level, my stop market will be triggered and and position will be automatically opened if that happens. If price does not exceed that level, I don't enter the, uh, the market and that's fine. It just, it's just uh, not, you should just not be in the market because you only want to buy on strength. Because if you buy on strength, then the, the Tenken Sen will start moving up and late, later the Kichuin will follow. And you want, uh, you, those are not moving averages, but you want your trend lines, um, um, <laughs> You want um, those lines, uh, the lines of Ichimoku, to move up because they will provide support and will pull and will, and, and the the probability that price then move up with uh, with them is high. So you want only to buy on strength, on strength. So on Wednesday, that should happen. I should, uh, if uh, this level gets exceeded, I have one more position. I then I have a position on. On, um, on Amazon and, and Apple. Now understand, I'm a trader. I'm, I'm not commenting in any way or form about what Amazon or Apple does. To me, it does not matter. I, I'm only interested in the stock. I would trade anything. Anything as long as I find it interesting from a technical point of view, and as long I can trade it. As long as there are futures and and it's a liquid stop and people buy and uh, and go. Personally, if you ask me about uh, about Apple, I only had once a product. It was a music player, something like an MP3. It was not an MP3. I don't remember how, how it was called. iMusic or whatever. And it had a hard disk in it. And you could put a lot of um, music on that hard disk. I didn't like it much, but it was the best option at the time. And that was the only product I ever had from Apple. So I don't uh, like that. Um, I don't like them especially. I like using more Windows, Linux, or, or Android. So I'm not a big fan of, uh, not at all, of Apple. I find it quite funny. And people who worship Apple and I'm not part of that group. So I don't care at all about Apple. I if you ask me, I more dislike them than I like them. I don't, maybe not all the products are bad, but I don't like a closed ecosystem. So it, it never was for me, but it was never my, my, my task of tea. But it does not matter. That's not the question at all, at all. My opinion about Apple or Amazon does not matter. I'm here to make money. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here to trade it. Okay, I'm, I'm trading it. Because I can, I can diversify. I can trade Bitcoin. I can trade altcoins. I can trade stocks. I can trade gold. And as long as I can do that, as long as the state does not prohibit it, like in North Korea, then I will. Because that's how I make my money. That's how I pay my bills. Okay. I don't care. I don't care about Apple. I don't care about that. What what they do. I don't care about the news. I don't care about any scandal. I only take care about technicals. Do the techniques tell me to go long or short? That's the only thing I, I care about. And then managing my position correctly. So here, my stop loss will be below the Kichuin and it will move up with the Kichuin. You put your stop loss a little below the Kichuin. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you is a very quick look at, at Tesla because Tesla is not following right now uh, Amazon and and Apple, because here, as you can see, uh, 
uh, most of the conditions are not fulfilled and it's a Kumo break strategy. So if you're not even above the Kumo, you can forget about it. So Tesla still needs a little time, but once it manages to go through its cloud, I will then also consider a long position on Tesla. And the last thing we have to do, and that might be the most important, and that's the most important of everything I told you, not the most important, but for me, it is, it is a, um, it's a make it or break it deal. So if that indicator is not, um, is not giving me the green light, then I won't. And the last thing, as you know, is the edit wave on, um, for stocks S&P. I could look at NASDAQ or Dow Jones. It would do the same. I looked at uh, as S&P because I've, I think it's, it's the best, but, uh, but I might change my opinion in the future. Right now, that's what I do. So now let's look at the S&P. Here we have the S&P, and I've already showed you on the first intervention um, it in more detail, and the decline also I have to show you on the first uh, stock market um, YouTube uh, intervention, uh, day trading uh, YouTube intervention. So I showed you uh, on that, so I'm not going to talk about it again. I just talk about the latest development and how it looks today, how it looks right now. So nothing, not, nothing has changed. I still put a wave one here, a wave two here, and then it subdivides with a wave one here and a wave two here. So I was thinking about that the wave A could, could uh, that a wave A could be the end, and it was not. It was only a wave A, and then we had a wave B and a wave C. So we went a little below the 60, uh, 1.8% uh, retracement of wave one. Uh, this is wave one. So we retraced a little uh, more than 61.8%, and that's fine. We could have, uh, and it's still possible that we go, but um, we could have gone down to the 61.8% of wave one. Here is that wave one, and that wave one is the wave on top here. So we could have retraced to that level, but uh, right now it doesn't look like. So here, what I've seen now is. Um, it's subdividing higher. So that might be a wave one and that might be a wave two. And we should start the, uh, the third wave higher. So uh, as you can see, um, eight wave confirms my outlook. And that's why I can take the signals of Ichimoku to go long on stocks. Okay, uh, that's great. I've enjoyed talking to you. And if everything goes to according to plan, then you will have soon one more intervention uh, on YouTube. I might talk about gold or cryptos. I haven't talked about cryptos for quite some time. And people want me to talk about Ripple because it, they say it pumped quite hard. So they want me to talk about Ripple. And I'm actually inclined talking about um, Cardano because you, I could have a bullish count on uh, Bitcoin and you can have a Google count on Ethereum too you, and on a lot of cryptos, but you could not, not uh, but I could not find a bullish count on Cardano. So I find it quite interesting that Cardano is not following. And normally it is Bitcoin that pulls everything up. But on Bitcoin, as well as the other cryptos, it is still possible to have a bearish count. And on Cardano, it is only possible to have a bearish count. So maybe Cardano is this time giving us a warning signal and telling us that the low is not in. Right now, my count, my main count, the prefer preferred status on Bitcoin is bullish. Well, that's it. You should be aware of that. You should have. You should be a member of my private, uh, one of my private clients, so that you get uh, the updates on gold stocks and Bitcoin, and so that you are aware on top of the markets. And that's. Uh, I think it's a it's a great service, especially if you're a trader or just an investor and you want to 
know what is in the card for your investment. Then you should be a member of my private client. Uh, client. I have people who tell me, but I don't have time to look at your charts um, three or eight times a day. You don't have to. You look at them whenever, whenever you want. And you look at what you, you ever you, you want. You got stock when it's important to you. Then you go to the private stock channel and you look at stocks. You get one update a day. So you look at the latest. If you want to see what happened in the past, you can scroll up and you have the other updates. And you do the same with, with, um, with Bitcoin. You look at it once a week, once a month, um, three times a day. Uh, um, in the evening, after, after you finished work or in the morning when you take your, caf your, ca your, your coffee, it's up to you how much you, you want to take a look at, uh, at my analysis. I do that uh, for a living, so I do that all the time. Um, um, I only take time next to trading. I only take time for playing the piano and uh, philosophy, uh, writing my philosophic books. Uh, that's the only thing I do next to trading. So for me, uh, for me, it's it's it has become my life, uh, a big part of my life. But for you, I understand perfectly that you have something else to do. That does not that does not mean that you cannot be interested in the market and take a look at it. You can trade it on a higher time frame, and the same thing I do on shorter time frames. You can do it on the weekly and uh, or monthly chart. So if you take it on the weekly or monthly chart you will have an entry every every three months or every six months. You have, will have to, to enter or exit a position. So there are a lot of ways of trading. It's up to you to learn what fits you best and also what indicators you want to use. For me, the best I found, and I'm extremely proud about it, is the combination of Ichimoku and Elite Wave. A lot of people use Elite Wave. A lot of people use Ichimoku. I'm the only one that uh, realized that uh, you get high probability trades if you use both of them. I know no other trader who does it. And <laughs> right now I'm writing my third book on um, my third philosophic book. And if I find some time to make that project, uh, to terminate that project, then I will be able to publish it soon because I've already read it, re uh, written a lot. But one, one day, uh, once I've gone through all the details about my trading system, Ichimoku plus Edit Wave, then I might also um, create a, a trading book. Why not? Anyways, and that's long. Uh, become a member of my uh, free Telegram group and see you soon. Good day to you. Bye-bye.